CPU prices keep going down. And that's why I'm making this video because they are getting closer and closer to MSRP. And of course, I will make another updated video if prices are even lower. But I decided to make this video about the best budget graphics cards that you can actually buy right now. Now, the number one, it's a little pricey, but I think that it's worth it buy if you have the budget too. And if you have a lower budget or a higher budget, let me know in the comment section and I will help you out. And you have to keep in mind that every graphics card on this video is brand new. I'm not going to go over used graphics cards from eBay. Of course, there are some good deals there, but I decided to make a video about brand new graphics cards. Without more to say, let's start with the list. So we are starting with the cheapest GPU on the list and we have the RGX 3050 at 300 bucks. I think that it's an excellent price for a GPU that has 8 gigs of VRAM. You also get ray tracing and the LSS technology, which is really important for your games to run smoothly. This graphics card is going to let you play at 1080p 60 FPS average in basically every single game. Of course, depending on the game and of course, depending on the settings. And if you ask me, I would pair this graphics card with the newest i3 12100F, which is around 120 bucks. So the total combo price would be around $420 for the GPU and CPU, which is like I said before, great for 1080p gaming. And if you're working with a tight budget and you want a computer that's below $900, I think that the 3050 and the i3 combination, it's going to be one of the best options for you. With the next one, we have the MSI Radeon RX 6600 at $340. So it's actually 40 bucks more expensive than the last one, but it's on a deal right now. So you end up saving 70 bucks and you get a graphics card that's actually 30% better for gaming performance than the RTX 3050 and you're not going to get that DLSS and ray tracing features that Nvidia brings you but it's going to be better for gaming even if you turn on the DLSS for the 3050 so I actually think that if you have a budget under a thousand dollars and you want a medium end gaming desktop that can also run competitive games at above 240 FPS on the lowest settings I think the RX 6600 is going to be your choice and if you're searching for a Ryzen 5 5600 with X or the i5-2400, I think that the RX 6600 is one of the best graphics cards to pair it with. So just for a $30 difference, you're getting a 30% better performance at gaming than the 3050. I think it's worth the price difference, but anyways, that depends on your budget and what you want. With the next one, we have the RTX 3060, which is around a 27% better for gaming than the RX 6600. You get both of the same technologies that you got on the 3050, of course, with better performance, and it's around $50 more expensive than the 6600. I think it's worth the price difference because here you're getting the NVIDIA features with even a better performance than the RX 6600. And you have to keep in mind that these NVIDIA graphics cards are also better for streaming because you get a better streaming codec. The NBank encoder is actually way better for streaming. So I think that for the price that you're paying, it's actually a pretty good deal for 1080p and also for 1440p if you want to play competitive games of course if you want to play games like fly simulator 2020 i wouldn't recommend going with a 1440p monitor but even on a 1080p monitor this graphics card is capable of running the highest demanding video games at 1080p so i actually wouldn't buy a higher end gpu for 1080p you can make a case of going with the 3060 ti if you play higher end video games and you're going to do some heavy gaming and also you want to compete at the highest level but i think the 3060 is going to be enough for most of the users and with the best one on the list, in my opinion, we've got the RTX 3060 Ti. It's actually around 30% faster for gaming than the 3060. I know it's actually a huge difference, but I think that it's worth the price difference only if you're going to use a 4040p or a 4K monitor. Because for a 1080p, even a 240Hz monitor, the max that you're going to see is 240fps. And I think the 3060 is enough for 1080p for those frame rates, of course, in competitive games and you're not searching to play games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Fly Simulator are above 100 FPS so I don't think that it's going to be a huge difference at 1080p but for 1440p and 4k that's when it's going to make a huge difference and when you're going to notice the most out of the 3060 Ti and remember that this one it's around $200 more expensive so if you have a 1080p monitor you're not thinking of upgrading it anytime soon I think that the 3060 it's actually the better deal but if you want 
want a 1440p or 4k monitor or you want the best performance at 1080p that you can get on the market right now i think the 3060 ti is going to make sense but even then you're not going to notice a huge difference on gaming at 1080p if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button so you get notified when i upload this type of content thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one